So now, I think I'm just going to start attacking stuff. Just doing damage. In fact, let's get you some more strength back. Try to push for Kantho. Yeah, I think that's what I am going to do. Kantho should be easy to hold. I just need to hold this one province. Is there another port down here? Mark Leek took out to bet. That's a good thing. My Zor declared war on the Prince of the Federation. So long as these guys stay, I can attack you. So long as you're not stupid and leave Saigon completely unguarded. Oh, for fuck's sake! I can't win! I can't! I don't think this is an uprising. I think this is a naval invasion from here. Or here. And these guys are, of course, encircled. Ah! In a rather awkward turn of events, the Deutsche Asiastische Bank has begun to buy out the failing league banks throughout the country. While there is nothing we can do to challenge this, it continues to undermine our authority when it comes to our own economy. Fine by us, or fine by us. I'm going to say, fine by us. Although this does lose... Oh no. Jin Ling loses a civilian factory, but Kia Chao gains one. Where's Kia Chao? Because I'm not actually sure that that's my province. Nope, it's one of theirs. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's not good business. That's very, very bad business. I would love to leave a soldier in Saigon, but I really can't afford to. I need to beat this guy to take Kantho. Although, losing Hanoi means... And yeah, these guys are well and truly encircled. Again, this was your war to lose, and you've somehow done it. <laughs> East India AI is beyond bad. This is an example of everything wrong with the AI in this game. Could say there's none of Germany Asia's business. Exactly. Baratia took three states, Dominion of India took two. I see... an opportunity! Oh, why are you so awful? I've done it again! Another completely useless naval invasion. Alright, selective enforcement, and then we can get opening the interior. It is not through law that we will achieve legitimacy as a government. We can only achieve this through achieving a stable government that is not questioned. Therefore, we can afford to selectively apply the law as we see fit. By allowing certain companies and individuals extra legal rights, we can be sure of their support. We'll crack down hard on their enemies. Now, are we going to take the south and then have to hold it against the north? I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's about to happen here. Yeah, I know I do. I just don't know what else to use it on. Oh no, we can do these.
which also gives me some more strength, which I'm going to spend like so. Please don't abandon Saigon, okay? Okay. I'm so getting cut off down here. I am so getting cut off down here. Oh no, maybe not. Patagonian workers front took 11 states. Paraguay took 2. Argentina have been annexed. We actually killed something! If you moved here, you could save that guy. Just saying. Alright, I'll do it. Declaration of the Argentine Commune. The forces of Frente Obrero, Patagonico, have triumphed decisively over Carles Argentina and seized the capital of Buenos Aires. Are they getting guns again? Nope, still not. Venezuela declared on the West Indies Federation. in south which will connect these guys together again so the only unit to die was this one I think we actually managed to save the others or oh, we will do momentarily hopefully do they still have zero factories no because they would have taken the northern ones in Hanoi no that's the Germans yep they still have zero but they have somehow got 25 divisions against our nine because they don't do these stupid naval invasions. No. <sighs> Look how weak that unit is. <laughs> how did you lose this before escaping? How? Is that even possible? And you, do something. You, move away from there. You, actually you're defending. Yep, oh, nope, nope, they're going inside on. Time to go. All of our gains are about to be lost. I, I, I can tell. I can absolutely tell. Where's the rest of my army? Volunteers, I only got two units. Any ideas on how to protect trade convoys in Japan? Destroyers. Lots and lots of destroyers with the convoy escort mission. This guy is leaving. This guy is not leaving. Uh, attack here. This guy should be losing organization because he's attacking there. As long as you hold out, we should be alright. And then actually we will have encircled these three. Wait, why did you leave? Now he's about to get cut off. Because he's moving in here to cut him off. Yep, and he's moving here. Wow, this AI is bad. How bad is it? Awful. Beyond awful.
Okay, he did actually get out. Good. You're about to move to Saigon, aren't you? Where's the Saigon defense gone? You attack here, or here. Okay. Okay. Now we have the cutoff. This is better. I like this situation. Except you're about to lose the cutoff if you move up there. So we need to attack here, move here quickly, and then attack you. And now I need you, or you, to attack him. Please! He's got so little organi- uh, so little strength. He should just die. Please don't leave Saigon open to him. Please! Because I have nobody in a position that can go and support it. Just kill him! Come on! Not rocket science! At you! Attack him! Oh, come on! This is maddening! him. Stop him reconnecting. Ah, too late. I tried. I tried. Yep, now you're going to get cut off because you're an idiot. Brazil declared war in the West Indies. Okay, new technology. We were going to go integrated support because we're never going to have enough, or big enough units to make use of not integrated. And then opening the interior would put me over the edge, allowing me to get AOG industry. The interior has always remained relatively resilient to foreign influence. This has also meant that its many resources have gone mostly unused. We are sure that the Germans are extremely willing to tap into this potential source of resources, and we should make an effort to open up the interior to German investment. Opening the interior. Begin. It is time to make German access to the League interior official. While still independent ventures have already made their way into the region, a full-scale German investment still requires our sign-off, and the setting, settling of several key logistical and political questions before it can begin in earnest. And that's all of the industrial stuff done. We could probably do with 1936 guns, seeing as we're still using the uber-basic 1918 guns. Alright, let's kill these four divisions. This should be a really big blow, actually. And you've actually brought some troops back to defend Hanoi. Congratulations. Still stupid. Camera's not focusing correctly. Deng Rousseau wounded. Ah. Huzzah! Well, actually, this is okay, because this is going to give me an opportunity to train up Zheng a little bit as well. So we'll just bring Zheng in. These guys are both, like, super elite at this point. <clears throat> Those swords have to put in good work. Yeah, they do. Neon coming in with a 24-month, two-year subscription. That is mental. It's now been officially been two years. It's crazy to think about how long it has been. 
This also means the Discord is officially over two years old. Everyone should join it. <coughs> cough, cough. Yes, Discord. <coughs> join it. Come say hello. It's always a pleasure to see some new faces over there. And also, we killed the four. Yes. Oh, what's that? Argentine Commune is supporting them with the Lend Lease, although nothing is actually getting through. And in fact, if we take that and hold on to Saigon and Hanoi, they can't ever get Lend Lease. Interesting. In Salindia, declared war on the Dutch East Indies, opening the interior, status of the Chinese. The first order of business is the fate of the Chinese businesses in the interior. Several key business leaders are requesting assurances of protection in the case that German investments destroying their livelihoods, while others are outright demanding rights of privilege over the German businesses. Uh, learn to coexist with the German presence or surely find a balance. Balance. All right, Operation Save That Militia, dude. Which should be doable. Shandong Clique has joined the Northern Chile... Oh dear. That's gonna mean bad things in the not too distant future. Time to start Chile. making guns in earnest. Opening the interior, status of the Germans. The second question pertains to the status of the German citizens in the region. While the Germans already possess considerable advantages over the foreign nationals, such as embassy rights and passport expediting, the Nanking Commission has suggested that we formally elevate the status of these German citizens as a show of goodwill to our new trading partners. No, they're going to be equal under law. Equal opportunity to make a lot of dosh. Still can't. Reforming the ex thing he is in four. Plus 150 for the first level. Right. Right, you attack them. You attack them. And let's make this. So we can't because he hasn't arrived. Six days. Can you hold out long enough for me to break through? I'm going to say probably not. Damn. Now that guy's gonna die. And you're about to get cut off as well. <sighs> Did you let them get the port? You let them get the port. Of course you let them get the port, because now you three are cut off. And you. Oh, come on! <laughs> Is my Lend Lee still going? Yes. Oh, we won. Cool. Maybe because it took them so long? I do wish with Paradox Games there was a feature you could take command of your allied forces in a war. You can take command of puppet forces, but not allied. And you can give allied forces command. Like in multiplayer, playing as the UK, it's a really good idea to give command of your Pacific troops to, for example, Australia. And then they can micro them so you're not having to do as much. You can fuse the enemy by swapping the front around. Yeah, apparently! Only the two southern states are theirs at the start, so the victory points count in the south. I guess so. Cool. Um, right, let's stop lend leasing them then. Oh, apparently cancelled on its own. Hence, we're getting guns. Yeah, that does make sense. Okay. Um, huzzah! I call shenanigans. I think you consoled that while we weren't, wait, uh, weren't watching. I wonder if there's like a timer or something. 
Or maybe we just needed to take enough provinces in the south and we held out somehow in the north. I'm not going to complain. Princely Federation took one state. Travancore State was our next. So this is just you unifying that. After a contentious election which had divided the Union of South Africa in two, the Dominion Party, led by General Jan Christian Smuts, has declared victory, though with the slimmest of majorities in the country's parliament. Voting in South Africa is restricted mostly to the whites, split between the Afrikaners in the north and the British in the south. With the British vehemently supporting Smuts, they were able to achieve victory. Interesting. You're good, you see. So these two should now be sent home. Or not. Apparently not. Huzzah! You making me sail myself? Alright, we'll sail. Lingguan has changed name. They have, have they? Oh yes, the Lingguan military government. Which last time resulted in the civil war. Also, that's the China flag, but you know, like the China flag in the corner. That's interesting. Opening the interior, German arrival. With the outstanding matters concluded, German entry into the interior has begun in earnest. While the full fruits of this decision may take a while to be felt, we are already receiving a benefit with this modest economic boom happening in the country. The new gold rush. More infrastructure, construction speed, and more civilian construction speed. Um, do we want to get some more civilies? Civvies being built. You know what? Sure, while we have the bonus, let's build two more there and get them done first. Cool. You're good, you see. The Indo-Chinese revolution is defeated. Despite ferocious guerrilla warfare from the Viet Minh troops, the German army has managed to thwart the Viet Minh revolt in Indochina. The leaders of the Indo-Chinese Union hiding in the Plain of Reeds after the central government evacuating from Saigon are assumed dead after German troops launched a thorough sweep. However, there are also rumours of Viet Minh leaders crossing the border and fleeing to other countries. Whatever may be the case, the war has left an indelible scar on the land, with thousands of villages ruined and millions losing their home to the vicious fight between the Chinese uh, volunteer troops, some of the Germans, when they could be bothered, and the Viet Cong guerrillas, as expected. Yeah, that's true. We could send the volunteers elsewhere. Um, I'm kind of okay with the state of affairs in America. France seems fine. Soviet Russia is about to die. Wow. Even while Russia is at war with an enormous Japan, the Soviets are still losing. We could send them to Bulgaria. <laughs> no, that's just asking for suicide. Um, I don't really know. Because I only need two more experience. And I can get the first level of army reform. Volunteers are still there because GA is at war with France. Oh yeah! That is true. Argentine Commune in Chile, Mexico, it Italy, France, and Britain. So I can't send these guys anywhere, and unfortunately because there is no option to return volunteers, they are stuck here until we go to war. We're not at war with Intel India, are you? No, that's just the Dutch.
And I think I can only use their ports. I can't use their allies' ports. So I can't get to Europe. They are actually stuck here. What I can do is get them closer to home. We'll leave them in Tsingtao. Disband them? Two super veteran units? Hell no. Terrible idea. It's a plus 75% combat ability. Um... Opening the interior. How's my percentage? We're still at 39%. But once we finished this, we should have 41, and then I can get the DAB holdings to really kickstart the economy. Like, our economy is already growing quite nicely. We have got... Click here, then on you. Details. Eight, civ uh, eight military and 27 civilian versus Qing, for example. Same number of military, but we've got 10 civilians more than them. Like, our industry is really, really good. And will continue to grow even faster. They are GEA units, which means they actually have access to my country. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got them home. <laughs> Guatemala took two states, Honduras was the next. Okay, well as long as they're here, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unassign their commanders, so I can send them elsewhere. And we'll just leave them here, and then we'll send two different units under those commanders elsewhere, but we'll deal with that next time. I think I'm going to call this stream here, so I do hope you're enjoying this. If you are, be sure to hit the follow button so you get notifications when I am live again in the future. If you are really enjoying this, then do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and lets me do more of this kind of content. If you want to support the channel other ways, check out the Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash mordredviking. Why did I fight that Vietnam War for two plus years? Because my closest ally is German East Asia, and this was a war for their stuff. The stronger German East Asia is, the stronger I am. Plus experience. For both the commanders and for my own troops. Like, the commanders gained a bunch. Deng Zhuo started as level 2. He's now really experienced with a lot of traits appearing. Uh, likewise with Teng Enbo. Getting loads of traits, getting lots of experience. Like, it, being a volunteer, especially in a war you win like that and don't get encircled and destroyed is a good idea. Anyway, I do have a YouTube channel as well, which you can find at youtube.com slash mordredviking. This series will be uploaded there as of tomorrow. Um, I need to delete th th the files I have there at the moment and then bring this one in instead, uh, but that's easily done. Then I also have a Discord where you can come and join the rest of the community. It's always a real pleasure to see some new faces over there, so come along and join us. All the links have been posted up in chat as well. Thank you, Marshall. And the Discord you can find at discord.gg slash mordredviking. I am not streaming tomorrow at all. There is no multiplayer EU4. We're taking a day off because New Year's is so close and this is like the holiday period. And possibly League of Legends? Probably not. Just because then I can actually stream in my pyjamas and not really care about anything. Um, but streams will be resuming as normal next week. With the uh, amendment that I'm away from Tuesday until Thursday. So there will not be any streams Tuesday till Thursday. I will however be streaming as normal on Monday. Quite probably this because I'm really enjoying it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to hit that follow button so that you get notifications uh, when I am live again. It would be an absolute pleasure to see some more of you in the future. Also, Duke, I am so sorry. You gifted a sub to Magic Mog. Magic Mog, congratulations on the gifted sub, courtesy of Duke. And yes, we can absolutely go and raid Helsen. Helsen is currently playing Europe Universalis Third Odyssey, which is a great mod as well. So head on over there, say hello from Mordred Viking. And make sure that we make our presence known by throwing in a couple of Viking raid notifications just like that. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you next time. Nutarasel, thank you very much for the follow. Bye everyone.